I have had conversations with Bibi Netanyahu, and uh, and uh, I want to make sure that uh, we don't forget uh, what we're doing here. We have to support Israel because they're an independent nation that's being, I mean, the brutality, the inhumanity, the way in which Hamas treated <coughs> the Israelis, and I mean, raping and burning and beheading, I mean, it's just, just beyond comparison, beyond comparison. And uh, to anything else that I've seen since I've been here, and I've been around for a long time, but I think that uh, we have made it clear to the Israelis, and they're aware, that the, independ the, the safety of innocent Palestinians is still of great concern. And so the actions they're taking must be consistent with attempting to do everything possible to prevent innocent Palestinian civilians from being, being hurt, murdered, killed, lost, etc. I used my recent attendance at the Doha Forum and every other platform I can to encourage cooperation among states with the same singular goal in mind, to make peace for all. In the name of humanity, I ask you all once again, stop this violence now. I thank you. Those against and abstentions. The General Assembly is now voting on draft resolution A stroke ES10 stroke L27 entitled Protection of Civilians and Upholding, uh, and Upholding Legal and Humanitarian Obligations. Will all delegations confirm that their votes are correctly reflected on the screen? And indeed, there are aspects of this resolution that we do support. We agree that the humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire and requires urgent and sustained attention. That civilians desperately need food and water and shelter and medical care. That a devastating number of innocent people have been killed and that civilians must be protected, consistent with international humanitarian law. In addition, we support the release of all hostages immediately and unconditionally. Any ceasefire right now would be temporary at the best and dangerous at worst. Dangerous to Israelis who would be subject to relentless attacks and also dangerous to Palestinians who deserve the chance to build a better future for themselves, free from Hamas. A ceasefire means one thing and one thing only, ensuring the, the survival of Hamas, ensuring the survival of genocidal terrorists committed to the annihilation of Israel and Jews. This is no secret. Hamas's charter makes this clear, and Hamas leaders have publicly stated that October 7th was just a rehearsal.